Hi, I'm AIN TV's Kurt Epstein. I'm joined here today by Jahid Fazal Karim, former senior vice president for worldwide sales for Bombardier Business Aircraft. Now, Jahid, you for seven years were one of the Bombardier's top business salesmen. Why do you leave that, and what do you have planned for the future? Actually, I uh, left Bombardier for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that I had to go back to Europe for personal reasons. But the second thing is I've been working for 15 years for major corporations, and I always wanted to explore a way to be an entrepreneur and start my own business. And I figured that at that point of the industry and the growth and fundamentally the business aircraft market, uh, it was the right time for me to start in, in, in that business and look at opportunities where I could uh, leverage my expertise and my knowledge. Now, as a now independent player in the market, what is your read on the health of the business aviation industry? Actually, I think we're uh, reaching uh, an interesting point uh, as far as the health is concerned in the industry. I feel that fundamentally, though, in the long term, this industry will continue to grow. It's gone through a major shift. There are people today that will not fly commercial anymore. They will continue to fly business aircraft, no matter how good the economy is. However, obviously, it is an industry that's, that's following the economy of the world. And with the, the slowdown in the U.S., you can see a little bit of an increase in the supply on the pre-owned side. So you see more airplanes coming up available on the pre-owned side. However, the emerging markets are still pretty strong, Russia, India, etc. So it, we're reaching a point of balance where there is decent supply on the pre-owned side and there is demand on the pre-owned side. So, um, so that it's kind of a, a sweet spot right now in the industry if you're trying to play in the middle. Um, on the new aircraft side, the, the new manufacturers have huge backlogs today. So the fact that they have huge backlogs will weather down any impact of a crisis. Um, the last crisis we had in 2001, 2003, the backlogs were not as strong for the manufacturers. So obviously, they were starting to build white tails, which really exacerbated the crisis. In this case, when you have three, four-year backlog, you can kind of see what's coming up, and you can adjust your production rates if, it's going, if, it, if the industry is slowing down. So. Um, now you mentioned a fi uh, the uh, financial crisis. How much more difficult is it now to get financing for an aircraft? Actually, financing is starting to become an issue. It's, it's not difficult, but it's just taking a lot longer. Uh, financing companies are now just have more processes in terms of just producing their financing paperwork. Um, they've actually increased their fees because of the subprime crisis. They have different rules to obey. Um, I was talking the other day to a couple of major financing uh, uh, businesses uh, trying to get financing for some of our customers, and most of them increased their fees by about 0.5 basis points. So there's added cost to financing. And obviously our market is not as sensitive to getting financing. So if the cost of financing are increasing, then there could be a little bit of a slowdown on the, on the financing markets um, when people are buying planes. And the cycles are just a lot longer than they used to be, I think. So with this difficulty now becoming more difficult to buy planes, would you say the tendency is now moving to make it more of a buyer's market? Um, I think the tendency is interesting and it depends on the, on the segments that you're looking at. Um, if you're looking at young planes uh, or, or new delivery positions, in fact, it's still a seller's market. Uh, a brand new G550 or a brand new Challenger 605 or a Global Express, let's say 2008 plane that would just deliver, um, will probably sell pretty fast because there's a huge demand for new planes and early positions, especially when backlogs are so far out. However, if you look at maybe older planes, um, there is a little bit of, of, of supply that's coming up on the market. Um, if you look at a five-year-old plane, let's say five-year-old Global or five-year-old G5, um, you're gonna have more of a choice. So at that point, the buyer probably has a little more leverage because he has a choice of planes and can probably dictate a little more its terms versus six months ago or year ago. Now, if you were coming here to buy a, an aircraft this week, what types of advice or tips would you have for someone looking to get the best possible deal? Actually, the best advice I can give people is to compete the deals. Um, I used to hate that when I was a senior VP of sales because I would have customers come to me and they say, oh, you know, Dassault offered me this and, you know, Gulfstream offered me that and, you know, what can you do? At the end, that's, that's the best way to get the best deal. Don't hesitate to compete the transactions, and that's how you'll get the best deal. So in other words, shop around. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, and good luck. Thank you very much. For AIN TV, I'm Kurt Epstein.